so another type of conversion that we could have would be a temperature conversion. Um, and so typical ways to measure te temperature is either in Fahrenheit, which is the U.S. system, right? If you watch the weather report in the United States, you'll see um, everything given in uh, Fahrenheit. Actually, they put the degrees after the number, right? And then um, usually capital F for Fahrenheit. Um, in the metric system, so if you watch the weather report in Canada, you would say a number uh, degrees Celsius. So they use the Celsius um, temperature. Um, so we can actually convert between these two different systems of measurement, though dimensional analysis doesn't really work here because we don't have a nice um, conversion factor the way that we do um, for uh, other things in the metric or the U.S. system. Um, so, but what we do have, we do actually have a formula that relates the two. Um, <coughs> so it does make it a little bit easier as long as you remember what the formula is. So the temperature in Fahrenheit is 9 fifths, that's whatever the temperature is in Celsius it is, plus 32 more. Or if you like decimals better, right, or you could do 9 fifths is the same as 1.8 which is what they like in your textbook. They like the decimal. So it's 1.8 times the temperature in Celsius plus a few. Whichever way, this one's nice to enter into your calculator. So let's do an example. So if I had an example, I wanted, I had 100 degrees Celsius, and I want to know is equal to how many... Um, degrees in Fahrenheit. I'm going to abbreviate with an F, but you could write out Fahrenheit. <coughs> All right, so I've got 100 degrees Celsius, and I want to know um, how many degrees Fahrenheit that is. Well, handy dandy formula, right? Um, I know that the Fahrenheit temperature is equal to 1.8 times the 100 degrees Celsius that I had plus 32. So now all I have to do is the math. 1.8 times 100 is 180 plus 32. Right, following order of operations, remember that? So I get 212 and that's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. So that's all there is to it. Really just plugging into the formula when you're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius. But what if you want to go the other way? So I have an example next for that. 